Well, Maryland's congressional delegation is dominated by Democrats. Congressman Andy Harris is the lone Republican in the state. He represented Maryland's eastern shore for over a decade and is running for re-election in November. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more. I'm in Denton, Maryland, home of the 1st Congressional District and home to the Caroline Summerfest 2022. I caught up with Congressman Dr. Andy Harris as he met with constituents. We need people who are willing to serve, uh, again, not their own personal interests, but the interests of the community at whole, the, com the interests of the nation at whole. Congressman Andy Harris says his life and public service are guided by his Catholic faith. Belief in God is, is what this country was founded on. Obviously, if you're Catholic, you believe, you believe in God, but you also believe in the Old Testament, you believe in the New Testament, you believe that, uh, that Jesus Christ gave us a set of principles by which we are to live. And what separates him from his opponent, <laughs> former Maryland State Delegate Heather Mazier. I think it's a belief that th that this culture is on the wrong track, not the right track. I, I think my opponent would rather uh, we go further down this wrong track, uh, and I think that doesn't end well for the country. Congressman Harris, who is a medical doctor, says Democrats want to get rid of conscious protections, forcing those in the medical field to perform abortions and other surgeries. Now we're talking about requiring uh, physicians to participate in, in, in gender affirming transgender surgery. Uh, and, and that's just not right. I mean, if, if you have a deeply held uh, religious or conscience belief against whether it's whether it's doing an abortion, whether it's doing uh, trans, uh, you know, gender affirming therapy, uh, you shouldn't be forced to do it. Congressman Harris is the chief sponsor of the Conscious Protection Act, which would strengthen the rights of health care providers to object to medical procedures like abortions due to moral or religious objections. He tells me Democrats' agenda goes beyond health care providers. Well, not only that, but teaching children what I think they shouldn't be taught. Uh, the, the fact that you're going to replace the family with a school system or, you, or you're going to uh, displace uh, you know, the churches. You're not, going to, you're not going to respect conscience rights. And adds, building back our culture starts on Capitol Hill. We should ask ourselves, anything we, we attempt to do is whether it strengthens the family or it doesn't. Everything. And, and a bill that comes to the floor that doesn't strengthen the family or somehow creates incentive for weakening the family, we just shouldn't do. I reached out to Heather Mazier, but she did not respond to any of my requests for an interview. In Denton, Maryland, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.